He's the deal lawyer. And he's the certified coach. Find out what happens when these two professionals talk about universal questions that require insightful answers. This week in the premiere episode, the guys meet to talk about how to negotiate anything successfully. This episode starts now. We got to talk about this thing called negotiation. Some people do it well, some people don't. So in your mind, Steve, because I got to get a lawyer's opinion on this, what would you say are the three, at least the three biggest components that you would see that would be a part of someone being a really good negotiator? Hey, the PJ, I appreciate the question. Um, I like to think that there are about four components, just oh, to, ex- just to expand by one. Uh, <laughs> the first one is the willingness to prepare. Uh, what people don't understand is that when you negotiate, you have to prepare for the negotiation. And if you walk in there blind or cold or whatever, that can cause a lot of problems. Second thing is setting high expectations. You have to have goals. If you don't have any goals, Mm -hmm. it's just not gonna happen. You're not going to meet uh, expectations. You're gonna have low, your expectations are none or low. You're not gonna get anywhere. Third, patience to listen. You've gotta listen or you're not in a negotiation, you're in a unilateral conversation with yourself, and somebody <laughs> else is making decisions, you know. And finally, commitment to integrity. You, you've got to have integrity in a negotiation. Yeah, no, I love that. And I think that's probably one of the biggest skills that's missing is that whole active listening piece. So I would definitely say that, because if you don't even listen correctly, then you don't even know what you're going to talk about or what you're going to address. And if it is a solo venture, it's just you talking unilaterally, then, then how is that even a collaboration? And I think that's probably more successful when it's a collaboration. Thank you.